So now, I just got uh, these resistors here. They claim to be uh, 50 watt resistors. Uh, 6 ohms right there. So here I have my old uh, 10 watt 5 ohms and uh, these resistors here, the uh, 50 watt ones, they came with a couple of these uh, connectors. Uh, each one of them did. So I bought uh, 20 of uh, the resistors and 40 uh, connectors right there. It was like $22, but after taxes, it was like $25 or uh, whatever it was, somewhere around there. So we have the uh, power supply set to five volts right there. That means there is about one amp of current going through that resistor, approximately, and a little less going through that one, approximately. And um, so that's the, uh, it's a 10 watt resistor, but uh, uh, five volts, one ohm, is uh, five watts that's half of the uh, wattage and um, that's about what you want to uh, stay and um, this looks a lot better in person there you go um, that's actually you know relatively close right there but yeah there you can see how hot the uh, 10 watt resistor is and uh, there's a 50 watt resistor and uh, yeah there's my finger and uh, I just touched the 50 watt resistor I don't think it was like terribly hot but it is warmer than my finger and uh, the power supply um, is a little warm uh, too, right there. That's uh, the power supply that you can see. Actually, I can just uh, move this over. Um, but yeah, it's um, you have to uh, have it close to uh, other objects that you are measuring to get relative. If I, you know, uh, put my finger over there, now you see the finger looks warm. So that's one thing to remember with the thermals. And um, I don't know how accurate this is saying like uh um looks like we might be closing in at 400 degrees fahrenheit on that one and uh this is saying maybe uh 250 but i don't think that's very accurate uh right there um but yeah um main thing was i wanted just to get a look at the uh, thermal difference right there now we can uh get that alligator clip back right there and just clip the uh, 50 resistor. Let this other one cool off. I'm not gonna touch it for a long time. It is really hot, no matter what it uh, really is. And um, we will connect this here. So let's um, try to get uh, about uh, 10 watts um, with this. So again, it's uh, six ohms right there. Let's bump this up to, uh, and you can see about 0.8 amps right there. Um, let's go up to 12 volts. That will get us about uh, two amps of current going through it for uh, 24 watts right there. So I think I said 10 watts before. It's actually uh, 24 watts because you can see 12 volts and two amps. So that's about half of uh, what this can handle. And uh, I don't know if this will uh, melt plastic, we'll be a little bit careful. But there, now you can see it's uh, finally glowing uh, really good right there. And uh, yeah, there's my finger for uh, comparison again. And up there, that resistor is still really hot, as you can see right there. This kind of caught up to it. And um, I'm surprised it's uh, that hot for that long. Um, so, yeah, um, I uh, have to uh, go to bed. I go to work tonight. But this just showed up um, just now. This delivery, these resistors and these connectors, they are actually um, for solving a problem with automobiles. So I think what it is is um, replacing lights with LEDs uh, with the uh, automobile. Less current flows through the LED than it would uh, the old lights. Um, and uh, so they uh, have this resistor, I think, uh, you connect this, you can put uh, two wires there and then pinch this down and it connects those two wires. So I think you put that parallel to the LED so that more current flows. You know, the current that goes through here is wasted. And um, But in any case, then the automobile sees there's more current flowing and it doesn't think that there's a problem. Um, that's what I believe from the little bit that I read. I'm not an expert on that. But um, I think that's why, and this is warmer here, I think that's why uh, these resistors come uh, with these connectors. There's all kinds of people selling them. I found um, what I think is uh, pretty pretty uh, close to the cheapest. And um, I think um, 
we, we kind of push this. You can uh, attach this to metal right there. That will help uh, dissipate the heat. And then there's uh, stuff um, when you have a uh, metal under there, the wood, you know, made it warmer than metal wood. It would have spread if there was more metal uh, to connect it to. And um, there's also like paste and stuff, thermal paste to help get that uh, heat to dissipate. But we're not going to go into that. Again, just a uh, quick little test there with the uh, thermal. And the vast majority of the time, my circuits are 5 volts. So I'm going to put this back down to 5 volts. And I'm going to unplug the uh, resistor. Didn't even think about that. That's um, one thing with the resistors, they get hot. And unless you got, you know, a thermal camera, you can't see that they're hot, you know. Um, so, you know, you know, it's good to have thermal cameras. Look around and uh, make sure, you know, you don't have uh, hot stuff sometimes. All right, so let's lower this down if you're dealing with things that are going to get extremely hot. Uh, so, yeah, this is normally, yeah, I turn the power off too. Normally, I work with 5 volts and 20 milliamps current max. That's another safety thing I do. I try to always set it uh, back to this. It's much better to accidentally have too little voltage and current um, going to a circuit. You realize it's not working. You check the power supply, realize you don't have enough voltage or current. Uh, but if you have a higher voltage and current than what the circuit can handle, you'll probably fry the circuit. Um, so better to be, start off too low and work your way up. Hopefully that makes sense. But uh, any case, again, uh, just a quick video I'm making. I need to go to bed right when I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.